So if you're looking for a cash rewards credit card, you would have come across both the PayPal cashback credit card and the City Double Rewards cashback credit card. And both cards offer a flat rewards rate of 2% on everything. So here, essentially, you'll receive a 2% discount on anything you purchase using any of these cards all the time. So today, I want to take a closer look at the features of both these two cards and compare them and help you to understand which one provides more value. Now, on the surface, they both look identical, but there are some differences, and depending on how you plan to use them, one may actually be a better option than the other. Now, before I get into this comparison, a very quick reminder here, if you're new and you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian, and here on this channel, I talk a lot about ways to make money, save money, credit cards, banking apps, investing money, and anything that has to do with personal finance. So with that said, give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do subscribe, be sure to turn on all the notifications. And that way you'll be able to get the updates of when I post new videos here. And I post a new video here every single day on YouTube. So if you want the daily updates on personal finance videos, be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel. Now, the first difference that these cards have, and actually, before I go there, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know which one of these cards do you have. And even if you don't have any of these cards, tell me which one you'd like and why. Now, the first thing is this. With the City Double Cashback card, you can apply from City, which should be a straightforward process, and you get approved and then you have the card. With the PayPal Cashback MasterCard, you first need to be a PayPal user or have a PayPal account. So if you are thinking about applying for the PayPal card and you don't have a PayPal account, then you need to create your PayPal account first. Now, this shouldn't be a big deal, but it does add an extra step to the application process if you didn't already have a PayPal account. Now, another difference is how you redeem your cash back. With PayPal, you can redeem your cash back at any time in any amount. So if you have a single dollar in cash rewards, you can redeem it and you can have it sent to your PayPal account or your bank. With City or the City Double Cash Card, there is a minimum and that is $25. So you'll have to wait until your cash back gets to $25 before you can actually redeem it. And you can also redeem this cash back at an ATM for cash. I also want to point out here that with the PayPal credit card, you get 2% on all purchases. So once you make a purchase, you get 2% cash back. However, although the City Double Rewards credit card offers you the same 2%, you don't all get it when you spend. Instead, you only get 1% when you spend and then when, and if you pay, you get the other 1%. So this is still 2% if you actually pay your credit card bills. So if you want to keep a balance on your card or you expect to, but you want the cash back, then PayPal will offer you the 2% once you spend. But with City, you'll only get 1% until you pay the bill. Now, both credit cards charge no annual fees, so it's a tie there. However, the PayPal Cashback MasterCard is a little easier to get since the recommended credit score is uh, 660 and over. And a lot of people in the higher 600s have been approved for this credit card. And when we compare that with the City credit card, the recommended credit score is 700 and over. So if your credit is on the lower end, then the PayPal credit card may be a bit easier for you to get approved for. Now, while talking about the fees, another advantage that the PayPal credit card has is that it charges no foreign transaction fees. And so if you like to travel and you plan on using this credit card when you do, then it's going to be a better option than the City Rewards credit card because that one does come with foreign transaction fees. And remember, when you travel, there will also be foreign exchange fees and a local ATM service fee. So if you can get a card that doesn't charge any foreign transaction fees, then you'll be saving yourself a lot of money there. When it comes on to the interest rates though, the City Double Cash Rewards card actually has better rates. I'm not telling you to go and run this card up and then pay interest every month. And if you can avoid paying credit card interest, then you definitely should. But if you expect to keep a balance on uh, whichever card you choose to go with, then the City Rewards card will have you paying anywhere between uh, 13 to 23% APR, while the PayPal Cashback MasterCard will be more around 19 to 26% APR, and this rate will depend on your credit and other factors, but it will be within those ranges. Also, the PayPal Cashback MasterCard is issued by Synchrony Bank. Now, another difference between these two cards is the balance transfer. With the card from City, you can transfer a balance to it, and there is currently an introductory 0% APR for balance transfers up to 18 months. Now, with the PayPal credit card, there is no such offer. They don't allow balance transfers. 
Also, from time to time, you can get a sign-up bonus from the City card, but the PayPal credit card has never really seemed to offer any uh, sign-up incentives. So the main points here are that the PayPal credit card has a good rewards rate, it has no annual fees, you can redeem your cash back at any time and you can keep it for as long as you like and also there are no foreign transaction fees if you expect to travel. However, the biggest downside is the APR is on the higher side. Now, as for the City Double Cash Card, its strengths lie with the fact that it has no annual fees. The APR is lower and you'll still end up getting good rewards. The downside are that there is a foreign transaction fee and the rewards can only be redeemed once you get to $25. So these are all the major similarities and differences between these two cards. Now, in my opinion, if you want a card to keep a balance on, then go with the PayPal credit card because it gives you 2% upfront while the city card, you'll only get 1% and you won't get the matching 1% on the balance that you're carrying on the card. Now, if you want to travel or if you plan on using the card when you travel, then the PayPal Cashback MasterCard is also a better option since you pay no foreign transaction fees. So if I were to choose one, it would depend on traveling really because I would want to pay or I would pay my balance every month. What do you guys think now though that you've watched this video? Drop me a comment down below and share your thoughts. Which one do you think is better and why? I hope you found this video very helpful and if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see new videos that I post and I post new videos here every single day on YouTube. If you've made it to the end of this video, comment your thoughts down below, any questions you may have and be sure guys to drop a like on this video as it helps to get this video out to more viewers and I'll really, really appreciate it. And also remember giving this video a thumbs up is completely free. Also guys, I've left a couple of links down below to free stuff and free cashback offers. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for all kinds of free stuff. If you're a new viewer or subscriber here, be sure to check out some of my other videos on high yield savings accounts, checking accounts, credit cards, investments, and ways to make money. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.